right, let's discuss your linked list of tasks. Before I go there, I wanna, I, I wanna stroke your egos a bit, all right? It, if you got your task version of linked lists to work, I want you to reach around and pat yourself on the back right now. That was a good job. If you didn't get it to work, please do not feel bad, all right? This, this stuff, I've been teaching this stuff a long time, and I just want to tell you that the tasks throws, throws people for a loop the first time they get through it. Once you get used to tasks, this is incredible, it's wonderful, it's powerful. You wonder how we ever were dumb enough to create OpenMP without them in the first place. I mean, they're really wonderful. But, you know, it's a, it's a big cognitive leap to go there. So if you really struggle with that last exercise, you're not allowed to feel bad. It was a struggle. So let's go ahead and look at this. Here's my solution. So you have to have pragma OMP parallel to create a set of threads. No choice, you always have to have that somewhere in, the, in closing scope or you're not gonna get threads. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have one thread create the set of tasks. The other threads will sit at the barrier and they will work on those tasks as they, be, as they become available to work on them. So here you can see the code for that. I have a pragma OMP single, so it's gonna select one thread. Okay, I'm gonna create a private variable because I'm creating it inside the scope of the single. All right, and it's going to create a pointer pointing to the head of my list. Now I have my while loop, and I'm going to walk through that list. I'm going to traverse the list. And for each step in that while loop, I'm going to create a task, and it's going to capture the pointer that, uh, that it's pointing to in the list. It will then increment to the next pointer in the list, so off I'll go. So this will create a collection of tasks. Each task will do one pointer to an element of the list. So now that Thread that does the single will go through the entire while loop, create all that set of tasks, then it will hit that barrier. Then it will join the other threads in working through those tasks. Now this is important enough, I have a little picture version of this that walks through this, because I really want you to understand exactly what's going on. And the color coding on this diagram is kind of important, because I want you to see who's doing what when and how it lays out in time, all right? So we create a set of threads with that pragma OMP parallel, all right, we're gonna have one thread selected to do the work of the loop. That's our black guy, okay? It's gonna point to the head of the list, and now it's gonna go through that while loop. So that's that black block of code, that's block one. Now, as it goes through, it's going to create a task, and each one is an independent task that this, that's gonna be sitting on the task queue to be executed. Then that thread that did the work, the, the black to go through and set up the while loop, it's then gonna increment the loop. So that will be the next block, that'll be block three. Now, if you look at how this would unfold if a single thread did it, it would do the black block, then it would do the first blue block, then it would do the next red block, then it would do the next blue block, do the next red block, all this would stretch out in one long unit of time. But if I have four threads to work with, what I'm gonna have is one thread's gonna go through and do the black and the red, you know, it'll set up the loop, it'll increment the pointer for each next task and create the tasks. And then I'm gonna have the other three threads to do each of the tasks. And it'll load balance and go through and do them as, there's, uh, a, a, as they finish. So the overall time will be significantly less. And it's very, very dynamic because it's all based on building up this task queue and then working on the task as they become available. So this is how the tasks execute. Now, I wanna leave you, since, since hopefully that linked list example now makes a lot of sense. I want to leave you with a real example of where these tasks were used in practice. And this is with what I consider to be some of the most elegant work in computational linear algebra today. This is happening at Professor Robert Vandegein's group at UT Austin. It's part of their larger project called FLAME. Um, beautiful work. If you're into linear algebra, you just got to take a look at this work. It's, it's wonderful. If you're not into linear algebra, I've probably already said too much and I'm boring you. That, that's okay. So we're going to do a symmetric rank K update, which basically means you're going to walk down the triangle, uh, a triangular matrix, and you're going to update each piece of it by taking the rows of one with the columns of another. All right? And don't worry about the details. Just you have the cartoon picture. But this is the, and, and, and we're not going to walk through the code. I just want you to see how little with tasks I had to change to make this program work. This is the serial version of it. All right? 
The first block up there, I'm just grabbing the chunks of the, the, the panels I'm going to work with. Then I'm going to do the update in that middle chunk, where I'm going to, that's the compute intensive part. Then I'm going to repartition to get the next chunk to work with. So that's the three major pieces. And to parallelize this, that's all they had to add. Minimal change to the serial version. And all they had to do was they had to say, pragma parallel to create a bunch of threads. Then they had to go through and have one thread assigned to walk through the list to create the set of tasks. And then they just dropped the task piece in the middle for that compute, and compute intensive part in the middle. And they ended up with a very, very nice parallel program um, with just that little tiny bit of added code. Extremely elegant, and this shows the power of tasks. And the performance from this is marvelous. You can see I'm going from blue with one thread, to red with two threads, to black with three threads, to green with four threads. And the top of that figure shows you the theoretical peak. So you can see that they're getting a major fraction of the theoretical peak performance of the system by that very, very simple code. So tasks are a very powerful construct. They can do tremendous things to what you're programming, uh, to your programming because they can allow you to handle some difficult dynamic code where you're walking through and creating collections of tasks that are going to be processed after the fact. So it's a powerful construct and well worth your time to learn and master. But that's all we're going to have time to say about tasks for now.